What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I made a video. For this video I have a couple little things to put on the Jeep. Uh, you'll see that in a second. But I also want to talk about, while my food is cooking, I want to talk about this summer I got an internship in Colorado. So, I'll be living in Colorado all summer, living out of the Jeep, uh, and basically living outside all summer. So, uh, I know the videos have not been coming out uh, very much recently, but that's gonna change. I have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of like recovery uh, gear or recovery uh, things that I got that I'm getting for the Jeep, and there'll be a big install video installing all the recovery accessories and other little mods that I'm gonna need to do to the Jeep before I do this trip uh, and stay in Colorado all summer. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and install the little things that I got for the Jeep, and I hope you guys enjoy. So since it's been a while, here is the Jeep. Haven't done much to it since I made the last video. Got new tires, nice. Uh, but that's about it. Still got the lights, um, and it looks the same. So today, not really any appearance mods, but I have new drive shaft straps and bolts because the ones that I have are stripped out, and I want to make sure that they're the best quality. And I also have a locking gas cap, which in today's economy uh, is important. So this locking gas cap, literally just, you unscrew your original one and you screw this in. And it's really cool because it's nice quality, it looks OEM, and it's not like the whole thing that goes over the entire thing and has like a, a door. I didn't want that. So this is really low key uh, and nice. So I'm gonna put it on. So I got this from Extreme Terrain, and it's about $30, I think. But as you can see, when it's unlocked, it just unscrews like a regular gas cap. You tighten it, it clicks. But then when you want to lock it, do this. And whenever you turn it like that, it basically just disengages the ability to, so now it just spins. And whenever you want to unlock it, do that, and then you can Super cool. Definitely recommend. It comes with this nice pair of keys that says says gas on it. Super cool. So now it's time to start installing the straps and bolt kit for the drive shaft that holds on the U-joint. Um, and it might be a pain in the butt to do because the old bolts are stripped out. So uh, we're gonna try our best, but let's just try it. All right, so there's the drive shaft bolts. They're stripped out. I know it, they look fine, but uh, I'm going to replace it and uh, put some uh, grease in my U-joint. All right. What? You can't. <laughs> I think he's trying to fix the part on his car that he messed up because he can't drive the car anymore. <laughs> All right. It's day two of doing the bolt, the U-joint uh, straps and bolts because I got, I got one side off, but the other one's completely stripping, and I made a mistake and tried to grind off the head of the bolt, but I didn't even think about how I will get the threads out. That was stupid. So, I guess I'll show you what it looks like. You can see, basically, I got this one done and tightened down. That's all good, but the other side... So the other side, that's where I tried to grind off the bolt, which is stupid. And then the, the one on top is just completely stripped. I got a couple tools that might be able to help. I'm gonna try it, but I'll probably just keep it the way it is because it's still tight. They never got loose, but it's sketchy now. All right, so I got the good strap tightened down and I just left the other strap alone. Okay, and moral of the story, don't mess with your U-joint straps if they're not even messed up. I don't know why I even touched them. They were just stripped and I want them to not be stripped in case something happens, but, you know. But we got the gas cap installed. Dylan doesn't like it, he thinks it's stupid. It is stupid, it's a pointless purchase. Waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you very soon because I'm getting a bunch of recovery 
accessories that are gonna be really cool to install. I'll probably get them at one time, all from like Amazon and do a big install. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.